Hey guys, Chad Sabalka, Remax Professionals. Real estate, real simple. The video series where I'm answering every question I can in the real estate world to help make the American dream a little more crowded. So today's question is a super exciting one because it's the first question for sellers out there. It's the most common question I get when I list a house and that's what updates or improvements should I be doing to maximize my value, get my home sold as fast as possible with the best return on investment. Well, I'm, I have four that are almost go-tos every single time I list a house. First off, we're gonna start with curb appeal. As a buyer drives up to a house, they're waiting on their listing agent, getting their things together to head on into the home, it is the first impression a buyer gets of your home. So you wanna make sure the outside is as perfect as you can get it. If it's during the summer, make sure your grass is green, your trees are trimmed, and you have some nice flowers outside welcoming the buyer into your house. Make sure that front door area is nice and clean and decluttered, and that everything is as perfect as can be. Number two actually curtails off that. You wanna make sure the first six feet outside of the home and whatever you see when you first step into the home is as perfect as possible. And that's because as the buyer is waiting for the agent to get the lockbox undone, they get inside, take off their shoes, they're immediately looking around the house, figuring out where they need to go, and they are already making a subconscious decision of whether this is the house for them or not. So make sure it's completely clutter free. Make sure that you have some nice art, some really nice things welcoming people into the house. Go stand by your front door and look into your home. Whatever you can see right off the bat, make sure is perfect. Make sure you have everything as organized as possible and that it really gives a sense of pride of ownership to that buyer. So they think, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller really take care of this house. The third thing for almost every listing I take is hire a professional cleaning crew to come in and deep clean the house and have the carpets cleaned. The reason is pretty simple. Even if you're a very type A clean person, having a professional set of eyes come through and give the house that once over cleaning to make sure it's absolutely perfect for that buyer is great. Not only will they get the things that you may have overlooked, they'll also give it a almost new car smell with, with all of the cleaning supplies and all that sort of stuff. They'll make sure that it's absolutely perfect and go above and beyond. Spend a little bit extra this time, get the baseboards clean, the windows, that sort of thing to make your home shine. And lastly, and this is the one that is probably the only one of any real cost, and that's having a fresh coat of paint on the inside of the house. Lots of people have different tastes when it comes to paint. Go with a good, warm, neutral color. If you're good at painting and you can get the lines crisp and perfect and you know how to paint, please do it yourself. Knock out that project in a weekend. Get an absolutely awesome return on your investment there. But even if you need to pay a professional, I highly advise doing it. It will get rid of you know, 10, 20, 30 years of wear and tear on the house almost instantly. Even if you go all in and spend five, six, seven thousand dollars hiring a professional painter to do it yourself, you're gonna get a good return on that investment. So Chad Sabalka, Remax Professionals, real estate, real simple. Stay blessed, guys.